2020 was a year that challenged the world and our field in ways most of us never imagined. And as an African American journalist, it came with a special sense of responsibility. Like those throughout the industry, we were tasked with covering a first of its kind presidential election, the COVID-19 pandemic, and the epidemic of systemic racism this country and our city still reckons with today. It felt like at many times we'd never been more divided, never shared less common ground. And that's probably true. But a little more than a year ago, as the virus was tightening its grip on the globe, the world turned its eye to Minneapolis in the case of George Floyd, bringing a sense and level of accountability that this movement for a fully realized sense of humanity had not seen until now. And we were there to capture it from the print photographer on the ground as protesters moved through the streets to the reporter tracking down the tough interview with those leading the charge to the news anchor delivering the content to the audience. If you were black, it wasn't just news though. We saw ourselves reflected in the work. So what is our responsibility, our duty as journalists as a whole, and how has it evolved? In many ways, it's becoming about returning to the principles our craft was based on. It's about following the code of ethics that the Society of Professional Journalists has extolled for more than a century and the Cincinnati Pro Chapter has worked to uphold. But it's also about acknowledging the impact these global events have on each of us and when necessary, being transparent about our implicit biases with our readers, viewers and our colleagues. If our newsrooms are going to survive and grow, they have to be places that foster and embrace multiple perspectives. That means our newsrooms have to look like the communities we serve in as many ways as possible. That's the type of team we work hard to build right here at WCPO9 and what I know so many of you are constantly working toward as well. So who are we and what comes next? That's for each of us to decide. And if 2020 reminded us of anything, it's that the eyes of the world and the next generation of journalists are watching.